This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. And what we're about doing here is making a modification to my homemade deer carrier so I can load a deer by myself. Well, time was I didn't need such a thing. I could just pick it up and throw it in the back of the truck, particularly a truck like the Ford Ranger here. But uh, I'm afraid those times are gone. Just don't have the arm strength anymore. So, we built this deer carrier years ago, and I'm going to modify it so I can put a jack on the rear end of it, lift it, and then slide the deer into the truck bed. Leastways, that's the general plan. And we'll show you some of the details. On the rear, of course, you see a small wooden crossbar. Uh, that, when it's used as a deer carrier, is just to tie the front of the deer on. It doesn't carry any real weight, but it's useful to have. Then you have some wheels. Well, these came from a kitty bike that I salvaged. And so we mounted these on a one-inch axle. And we had an old piece of ladder, as you see. And we put some uh, fenders on it to sort of catch the mud and stuff. Now, some of the places I hunt are indeed muddy. And then at the very front, there are some black one-inch pipe iron handles which are now hooked between the bed and the tailgate and that stabilizes the front of it. Now the general idea is, as I use a handyman jack, attach it back here to the rear and proceed to jack up the deer carrier to something more nearly here and then just push the deer into the truck bed. So, so. Uh, that presents some of its own problems. One, that wooden piece will not take the strain. So I'm going to reinforce it with a piece of steel angle iron. So that's the general plan. From this angle, you can see better uh, the vise, the steel I'm cutting, and also, of course, the handles which are spread and bent like plow handles need to be to give you a, well, a good comfortable hold. If you're going to push something a mile or so, yeah, uh, you need to be able to hold it well. So now we're going to proceed to make the second cut on that angle iron. I've worn enough of the abrasive wheel away that I just can't reach that bottom little tab. So we're going to flip it over. The steel fits very precisely from bolt to bolt. So now uh, we'll flip it over and just a couple of wood screws will hold that. Just all you need is just something to retain it to that wooden member. So I'm going to pre-drill some holes and then mount the screws in it. While I have the carrier here and well fixed, I'm going to go ahead and knock off the end of those bolts uh, so they don't hang up on the gear when I try to push it in there. These were made so that this handle would be removable so I could store it in the back of a truck without having to uh, have it stick out the tailgate. And then I'll get the others from the other side. Okay, that's solid. We're going to pre-drill a little hole here. We have 
some Phillips head screws here. And those should go in very nicely. Yeah. Okay. So that is solid. And the screws protrude through the other side. So we'll just cut them all flush and that will fill the hole. Okay? We now have our high lift jack down. And I have the ropes uh, attached to the tailgate. Now those will be quite tall indeed when I do it for real, when I have it under load. This will take some wiggle and be okay. Oh yeah? I think that will work. Then tomorrow we'll go out and hunt the chicka pin stand and take our deer retriever with me. And this way I'll be able to load it by myself and I'll be able to hunt that place alone, which is what is needed because that stand is so close to deer camp. That hunt produced no deer. So the next day I shortened the carrier so that it could be locked up in the bed cover of my Ford Ranger along with the rest of my gear. Stay tuned for part two where I trim the deer carrier to fit the truck bed. I'm an author and most of my output is outdoor books. But I do have a significant business title and that is Create Your Own Job Security. And in this book, what I advocate that anyone, anytime, at any age, in any place, start their own businesses to raise whatever money they need to raise at the moment, like perhaps right now, and show you exactly how to select what that appropriate business ought to be. Now, I have a project ongoing, and that is Father of the Grooms. Uh, this is a novel, screenplay, and movie. My deer carrier was designed to fit in a longer bed pickup. And I made it uh, so that when I removed the handles, uh, I could close the pickup and close everything up. Well, now that I no longer have that particular pickup, I'm going to go ahead and make another modification and shorten the length of the ladder section and basically move everything up one rung uh, so that then I can carry it in the truck and close everything up and lock it up. But we're going to go ahead and cut the ladder now. We've got the cut done. Now I want to smooth that face off so it doesn't cut me or eat up the back of the tailgate. I've got the nut and bolt on one side of the handle on one of the rungs and I want to freshen out the other hole and so I can get an easier fit since this thing is going to be taken apart and put back together in the field. So I'm going to enlarge it a little bit. I'm going to be trying to intersect a hole that I cannot see. So I'm going to start off with a smaller bit and then go progressively larger. But first I'm going to use a punch 
and we'll try to line it up with the center of the iron pipe. Okay, I've made a little dimple. So we can start and see what we can do here. shall see if our deer carrier shortened by foot is portable and lockable. Wheels aboard. Tailgate closed, cover closed, and locked. But now, this is Hovey Smith, reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe. Goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. Project approved by Hector the Hound Dog. This rebuild was prompted by the recovery of some sections of aluminum ladder from my buddy's hunt camp. Instead of making a new aluminum ramp, it was easier and more useful to modify this existing deer carrier that I made to hunt Georgia's coastal islands. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 850 videos, go to my website www.hoviesmith.com. To discover how you can make your own job anytime, anywhere, at any age to raise the money you need, go to MakeYourOwnJobSecurity.com. To find out how my novel, screenplay, and movie project is coming along, go to FatherTheGrooms.net. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.